Everyone loves the beach. Wildlife, people, even trash. But out of these beachgoers, trash and plastic waste is the most common beach bum floating from shore to shore. You'll always find it. The Surf Rider Foundation is not your everyday surfer hippie granola eating nonprofit. These are everyday people making a difference within their communities. With over 100 victories nationwide spanning from coastal preservation to ban of plastic bags within grocery stores, these ocean loving activists are making waves. It's an early morning on Saturday. While most people are just getting their day started, the Surfrider Foundation is rallying up troops to roll up their sleeves. And I just want to let you guys know what we're targeting here today, okay? Uh, we're looking for small pieces of plastic, okay, just like this. These are things that we found on the beach. Animals, both the sea animals and the birds, will mistake these small pieces of trash and eat them. They'll ingest them, they'll choke, and they'll die. The Surfrider Foundation is taking on plastic monsters. No, I'm not talking about Hugh's playmates either. We're talking about the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The National Science Foundation estimates it's twice the size of Texas. That's a lot of bullhorns. They just end up into the ocean, and then once they end up in the ocean, they get caught up into the currents, and they just photodegrade into these small, small pieces, uh, smaller than plankton almost, and then the fish are actually eating that. <laughs> As a way to measure their influence of work, Surfrider collects data of their pickings. They use a checklist which goes to the city and state to spread awareness. All right, so I just got my check card. I'm about to go and I guess get started. Uh, Apparently, you know, uh, there is a lot of trash to be picked up and to do that, you know, you got to be a little sanitary. Hey, how's it going? Good. Awesome. Um, so what's happening right now? So we're going to use that bag to gather the trash. Okay. Uh, any cigarette butts you find, put in that. We want to keep them separate. Butts in here. Put the booties in here. And here's a glove. Okay. All Don't right. To pick up any glass. Okay. That's, uh, broken. What do I'll I do? Safe. What do I do if I see something that looks like it have like bodily fluids on it? You know, just leave it, let us know. We can have the lifeguards come down and pick it up or uh, they've got shovels. Just fish like it off that, to so. them, right? Yeah. <laughs> awesome, bro. So I hit the beach. While being a trashy beach bum, I came across a mother and daughter duo who shared a love for the ocean. Ever since she was a little girl, we used to go camping in Mexico. Uh-huh. And we always took care of our area, always maintain a clean. Uh-huh. And we've done this a couple of times and we said we're gonna do it every weekend. That's awesome. Whenever she hears about it, she's the one that sets it up. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I could be sleeping in right now, uh -huh. but we're not. We're at the beach cleaning up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> they like the beach. They want a nice beach, but yet they throw all their trash on the floor where it's like two steps to the trash can. And that's sad, so that's why we dedicate our time to make the beaches what people expect, and so just to put the trash where it's supposed to be. <laughs> You know, we were actually just down here for the day, just hanging out, and we saw it going on. We thought, you know, come out, help out, give back. Nice. So you guys just said, hey, I got free time, may as well just jump in. Yeah. That's exactly. pretty epic. So do you guys come to the beach a lot? Yeah. Yeah. We come to the beach a lot. Yeah. So this is like your, your sanctuary, right? Right. Yeah, exactly. What are some of the things that you that you see on the beach that, that like kind of discourages you from wanting to come here, you know, like from seeing people like trashing or anything like that? You know, it was really most disappointing that I realized is a lot of the people that have these awesome houses right on the beach just throw their trash right onto the beach that we love. And so like underneath on these rocks or whatever, we'll be picking up trash from people that are up there. And we thought, you know, it's cool, like whatever to have a house, but you got to respect the beach still. Dang. <laughs> So here we go. This is what I collected. All right, just dump it out. Just dump it out. What we're gonna do is sort through it. We're gonna look for recyclables, bottles, cans, plastics that we can put over here and recycle. And then we're gonna sort all the other trash into here. We wanna keep your hands kind of out. We don't want broken glass slicing you up or anything like that, so. <sighs> Whew. That was a full day of volunteering. Surfrider has their work cut out for them. I spent at least about an hour, close to two hours, and I had a full bag of trash, from recyclables to just trash itself. Now, 
we met people from mother and daughter combos to students who don't really go to the beach but just want to make a difference in their communities. These are everyday people stepping up to be heroes. Surfrider Foundation has more than just beach cleanups. They do water conservation and water awareness. They're basically really about the surf and all about the people. I'll see you soon. Sushi sounds pretty good right about now. Seems like Surfrider better start some sort of plastic fish campaign. They're a national nonprofit, so see what's going down in your neck of the woods. With that being said, I want to pose the active question. Drum roll, please. If you could donate $1 million to one nonprofit, which one would it be and why? Leave a comment below and check out our Twitter and Facebook feed. I'm Tyson Suzuki. Stay active.